everyone, it's Kara Wedby with Simply Magical Vacations by Kara, your favorite magical vacation specialist here for our Friday News live show. Um, now on my MacBook. <laughs> um, so if you are here and you can hear me, give me a thumbs up or say something because obviously I've never tried this computer, so I don't know if the audio works on it. <laughs> so let me know. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about what I learned at the Toy Story Land training that we had in Houston last night, the event we had in Houston. And um, I'm going to show you all the goodies they gave me. This is one of them. So cool. See, it like has its own built-in stand. And it's a poster for everything happening in Walt Disney World for the incredible summer this summer. Isn't that cool? Okay, so there's not a ton of news to report, so that's actually good so that I can talk to you about what I learned last night. So let me do the news first. Okay, first things first. News. Oh, got my new OtterBox case on there. I bought this when I was in Disney World before I dropped my phone and broke the screen. And this is the new Star Wars OtterBox case. It has Rey and the Millennium Falcon and R2-D2 and the Porgs. They're all down here. I'm thank you. Um, so I had to have this one. I mean, it's just so cool. But now I saw today that they have princess ones, too, and they have Belle. So I'm going to have to get one of those. Um, OtterBox also sent me a screen protector for my screen, my glass, for free since my last phone glass broke while in their protector case. <laughs> so, um, all right, first bit of news. By the way, I've started a YouTube page or I've put a, a lot of these videos that are on here onto a YouTube page so that they're searchable for you. And I put the link for my YouTube page on the pinned link at the top of this page. So there's a video there and in the video description, it has the link to my YouTube page. So if you need to search for a specific video, that's the best place to do it. All right, so first bit of news, just like Disney raised their parking prices from $20 for regular parking to 22, and I think it was like 35 to 40 for preferred parking. Um, what's happening at Universal is they raised their prices. So they raised their ticket prices after Disney raised their ticket prices, and now Universal has raised their parking prices. <laughs> so Universal is also going from $20 for the regular parking at Universal to $22, and then Prime Parking is going from $30 to $35. After 6 p.m., though, at Universal, the parking is still free. So yay. All right. Next bit of news, foot golf. They finally have gotten like the foot golf thing started and now there's pricing for it and everything over at the Oak Trail Golf Course in Walt Disney World. Um, so apparently foot golf has been around since 2001. There are 500 courses in every single state in the United States of America. This one will be an 18 hole course and it'll offer a fun experience for amateurs and experts alike. Foot golf makes for a perfect family-friendly afternoon activity, and at Disney's Oak Trail Golf Course, guests are sure to experience the magic of the Walt Disney World golf experience. Guests can book tee times for foot golf now. In a special promotion that runs through March 25th, two guests can play for the price of one, which it's $20 per person, so two guests can play for $20. Um, and that includes complimentary ball rental for both participants after March 25th, it's $15 per person for a Walt Disney World Resort guest and $20 if you're not staying on property. Um, so there you go. And to get more information, you can go to golfwdw.com. That's actually where you can make your tea time reservation as well. The dates have also been confirmed for Universal um, Orlando's Resorts um, Halloween Horror Nights. They, this is Halloween Horror Nights number 28. And the dates for that are going to be September 14th through November 3rd. This is cool. I put it on my page or on my feed. You can see it. But Google Maps Street Views has added 11 areas of the Disney parks for users to explore. Disney, Walt Disney World and Disneyland parks, I know, are on this. So you can go to Google's Map Street Views and actually see 
like walk up to the castle or walk around the castle to fantasy land or whatever it's all on google maps street view and it's so cool so you definitely need to go check that out if you haven't um there are also new photo pass magic shots one of them features the orange bird um enjoying the sunshine at most photo pass locations in epcot through may 28th you can also transform your pictures with a butterfly or fairy wings magic shot available for most photographers at epcot or a magic shot featuring the honeybee spike at most locations in the world showcase at epcot this is all for the flower and garden festival at epcot be sure to ask a photographer for any of these enthrall wing <laughs> magic shots and as soon as the perennials return in the spring if there's a festival photopass will have a prop that you can use for your photos you can find it at the fountain of nations just so you know world of color in disneyland um, at disney's california adventure park is going to go into refurbishment starting april 13th when i first saved this piece of news i didn't know when the refurbishment ended but i just found that out today from our D disney travel agent website so refurbishment is supposed to be done on World of Color um, at the new Pixar Pier location by May 24th. So it starts April 13th and ends May 24th. All right, next bit of news. Disney Cruise Line has released concept art for the new cruise ships that they're building. They're going to be slightly larger than the current Disney Fantasy and Dream ships, with the, which are currently the larger of the four ships. Um, and so they'll hold slightly more people and they're going to be ready in 2021, 2022, and 2023. Here is, here, let me turn it. There we go. This is what the concept art looks like for it. It's gorgeous, just like all the other Disney ships. But it, to me, it seems like the difference is, got to get used to this backwards thing, is this part right here, it seems like it extends out further. Than on the regular ships and it seems like a different shape so that's the difference i see but that's the new concept art for the new cruise ships that they're currently building okay next bit of news oh and here this is about it um in keeping with the distinct disney cruise line style the new ships will embody the elegance and romance of the golden age of ocean cruising with unique touches of their own the three new vessels will offer more innovation, new technologies, spectacular entertainment, and more Disney stories and characters than ever before. Ingenuity and innovation from stem to stern will amaze and delight Disney Cruise Line guests of all ages. On the new ships, they will bring Disney's iconic stories and franchises to life in thrilling and surprising ways, building on the creativity that they've introduced across the existing fleet. Just over the past several years, they've added innovations such as Marvel and Star Wars themed spaces in the kids clubs, dazzling stage shows like Beauty and the Beast that are unrivaled in their originality and visual presentation, and an entirely new genre of dining experience combining live entertainment, storytelling, and interactive moments at Tiana's Place and Rapunzel's Royal Table. Each new ship will approximately be 140,000 gross tons, slightly larger than the Disney Dream and Disney Fantasy, and each is currently planned to include about 1,250 guest staterooms. While design plans, ship names, and itineraries are still in development, they're already dreaming up exciting new ways to create the world's most magical ocean-going adventures. These new vessels will be powered by one of the cleanest burning fuels available, liquefied natural gas, or LNG. You might say the Disney Cruise Line is on the threshold of reimagining the cruise industry once again, just like they did in 1998 when they built their first ship. So there you go. New Disney Cruise Line ships. Whoop, whoop. Okay, this is interesting. This literally just came out about an hour ago on our Disney Travel Agent website. <clears throat> and I've seen other people start posting stories about it. But there is going to be a special Pixar themed immersive child experience that will debut April 13th at Disney's Contemporary Resort in Walt Disney World. Now, the stuff I'm going to show you is, is about this incredible summer theme, Pixar theme they have going on at Disneyland and Disney World this summer. But this is in Disney World. It's in the Contemporary Resort, and it's every night starting April 13th. Kids ages 4 to 12 will be transported to a world full of excitement and adventure with their favorite characters from Disney, Pixar's Toy Story, and The Incredibles. Now, this is cool. Listen to what they're going to do. It all kicks off with Space Ranger training, where kids will learn how to identify and battle enemies of the Star Command. 
Then Woody and Jesse will show them the ropes of the Wild West during Woody's Roundup. During the Piston Cup Challenge, youngsters will be able to build a race car and then race it on the Radiator Springs racetrack. And finally, kids will learn some sweet dance moves during the Incredible Dance Party with Mr. Incredible and Mrs. Incredible. What else is on the menu? Games, dinner, and dessert, of course. The nightly getaway for kids ages 4 through 12 will open its doors for registration at 5 p.m. and the programming will run from 6 to 10.30 p.m. for a fee of $65 per child plus tax. Children must be fully potty trained in order to be eligible for this event. So children ages 4 through 12, it starts April 13th. The, it's a nightly child care event at Disney's Contemporary Resort that's all Pixar themed. And so you as parents can go have a night out, go on a date night, go on a, you know, do a fancy restaurant that you wouldn't normally take the kids to or go shopping in Disney Springs, whatever, while your kids can go experience this Pixar themed event, which I think is awesome. I hope they do something like this in Disneyland this summer too. That'd be great. But this one's in Walt Disney World. And again, they just released the information about this literally like an hour ago. Okay, next bit of news. This is weird and all of a sudden, and we really didn't get an announcement, but Magic Kingdom has removed the beloved citrus swirl treat, which you get at Sunshine Terrace and has replaced it with an orange swirl. So some bloggers that were there today from WDWNT.com asked them why the change in the name and what, what does that mean? What, what's an orange swirl? What happened to the, the citrus swirl um, that the orange bird character is associated with? And they said that it was because they changed it so that it's vegan. Um, so now the orange swirl is vegan. The citrus swirl, I'm not sure, I guess maybe the dairy made it not vegan, but now I guess it's a non-dairy dessert if it's vegan. But the citrus swirl was like orange juice, concentrated orange juice that was mixed with vanilla soft serve. And so this is orange flavored soft serve mixed with vanilla soft serve, but it's all vegan. So I would love to know the ingredients <laughs> next time I'm there. Maybe somebody can get them and let me know. But maybe it's like the Dole Whip, which is also non-dairy. So pretty cool that changed today. Um, here's Pixar Fest information in Disneyland. Um, it's coming to Disneyland Resort starting April 13th through September 3rd. In addition to the dazzling new Together Forever, a Pixar Nighttime Spectacular, and the return of the Paint the Night Parade and a Pixar Play Parade, this celebration of friendship and beyond will bring limited time foods, beverages, and merchandise throughout the Disneyland Resort. And today, they're giving us a sneak peek. All right. The first one is Up. So for the movie Up, they have Friedrichsen, which is Friedrichsen bologna sandwich at the Carnation Cafe in Disneyland. Um, they have the Friedrichsen TV dinner at the Carnation, Carnation Cafe at Disneyland. They have the Up Merit Badge Eclair at the Jolly Holiday Bakery in Disneyland. And they have the Up Tart, which is a Nutella Pop-Tart chocolate Friedrichsen house and balloons at the Cappuccino in Disneyland Park. Oh my goodness, these are gonna be so cute. I can tell already. Um, the next bit is Toy Story. So the Toy Story themed snacks at Pixar Fest in Disneyland will be a boot beer root beer float <laughs> served in a souvenir Woody's boot at the Golden Horseshoe in Disneyland Park. Jesse's Berry Jubilee Funnel Cake, house-made funnel cake topped with blueberries, strawberries, chocolate cookie crumbles, creme anglaise, white chocolate, and gold dusted cream also be at the Golden Horseshoe. Lots of strawberry funnel cake, which will be strawberry cherry topping, strawberry butter, and streusel, which uh, with a spiced syrup drizzle, at the Hungry Bear Restaurant in Disneyland Park. And then the lots of strawberry churro is going to be found in Tomorrowland at Disneyland Park. That is Toy Story themed food. Now the cocoa themed food at the Pixar Fest is going to be a cocoa churro which is a chocolate and vanilla bean dusted and salted cinnamon sugar churro served with a spice Mexican chocolate dipping sauce. Um, let's see, that's gonna be in Frontierland at the Disneyland Park. And then Monsters Inc. themed food is going to be a Mike Wazowski bread at Pacific Wharf Cafe at Disney's California Adventure Park, a Sully premium popcorn bucket at all the Disneyland Resort popcorn carts, Mike Wachowski Sipper at the Disney California Adventure Park Quick Service Restaurants. 
You can take this first ever celebration of friendship home with you, of course, or share it with a friend with the new limited time merchandise. Apparel includes Pixar Fest logo tees for adults and kids as well, featuring some of your favorite Pixar pals, Woody, Buzz, Mike, and Sully, to name just a few. Loungefly is creating a special Pixar Fest leather tote and a limited release pin will feature the event logo. Be sure to choose this adorable tumbler featuring an illuminated claw reaching down toward an excited alien from Toy Story. So it's a light up tumbler with an alien, how cool. So all that's gonna be at Disneyland. Here's the logo for the Pixar Fest. Right there, it's got the Pixar characters on it. So those things were announced today. And that's all for news. So let me show you what I learned and what I got at my Toy Story Land training last night in Houston. It was awesome. They did such a great job. Um, the host of it was this lady named Carla. I'm sure that's not her real name, but they've been touring with this event, Toy Story Land event, um, all month. It's like a month long event and they're doing different cities. So it was in Houston last night. My agency only got two spots to go, and so I got to go, and it was so fun. This is one of the things I got. It is to advertise the incredible summer at Walt Disney World. And it's a stand, and it's like a poster that I can take with me places or put on my desk. Um, and it's really cool. It's got all the incredible summer stuff going on at Walt Disney World this summer. It's definitely Pixar themed summer at Disneyland and Disney World. Um, this brochure is the new Pixar Fest brochure. It is so cute. So on one side, this is for Disneyland's Pixar Fest we just talked about. So on one side it has Mike and Sully, but on the other side it's joy and sadness. Isn't that cute? I thought this was the cutest thing. And then on the inside it talks about everything that's going on at the Pixar Fest, which we actually just talked about. And it has a map too of the parks at Disneyland. Isn't that cool? So they gave us this piece of collateral and then they had a whole bunch of stuff, Adventures by Disney. I didn't have this one, but I had the other one. So I got this. Um, Alani, Disney's Alani. They gave us different product sheets about, um, they gave us information about how Alani is good for families or couples or both. Um, then they gave us, this is a, this is a decal. Isn't that cool, Benson? So this is a decal um, that's supposed to go on a window. I don't know what window I'm going to put this on, but it's the same thing as that poster. And so, and you can peel it and stick it on your window and it has the same stuff both on the front and the back. So that is so cool. I don't, they give us the neatest swag at these things. So that's definitely why I like to go. And it all came in this bag here. It says Walt Disney World, it's a tote bag. Um, to me, this is the coolest thing they gave us. Okay, so it's a Walt Disney World viewfinder, you know, because Toy Story, uh, the movies, all have the viewfinder character in them. And this one, this disc, is the one for The Incredible Summer at Walt Disney World. It is so cool, but that's not the only one they gave us. So then they gave us in our bag here, a pack of different discs that we can show our clients so they can see like what's going on this summer in different places, not just Walt Disney World. So this one is for the Pixar Fest in Disneyland. This one is for Disney Cruise Line. This one is for Alani. And this one is for Adventures by Disney. Isn't that cool? So if you come to my office, I will let you use the viewfinder and you can see <laughs> the new stuff that's going on in Walt Disney World this summer uh, or any of these other places. So, yeah, there, yeah, right. that one's backwards. Anyway, any of these other places. So I thought that was so cool. Yes, they do, Benson. I, it's amazing. It is so fun to go to these events. And if you can see on my page here, I put I posted the rest of the pictures of the concept art and everything that they showed us. And they have the green army green army men there. And so it was all themed out to where he, they would come on stage and give her a folder of new intel that they had just discovered about all the things going on at all these different places. And he would come like every couple of minutes and rearrange the blocks on the stage until at the end it said Toy Story Land 2018 um, on there, the one I got my picture taken with. And then um, they would give him a folder 
every couple minutes of the different stuff she was supposed to talk about. And then they had videos for all of it too. So it was totally cool. Definitely, definitely a great event they put on for travel agents. So the um, last bit of the, of swag I got, and this was on our table when we first got here and it's my favorite by far of everything they gave us. I'm going to remove these two pages because this is my notes that I'm going to talk to you about, um, about what they told us that I didn't know already. Um, but this is a notepad. I don't know if you could see it. It's kind of like in the background, but it says Toy Story Land. And then it has Slinky Dog at the bottom. Can you see him? And it has the alien and the spaceship at the top. And then, of course, you need a pen to write with, right? You should, Vincent. <laughs> I'll hook you up. It's really fun. So they gave us this pen, and it was sitting like this, like sitting down on the notepad. And it's a rocket ship that says Toy Story Land. And then each one of the fins on the ship is a different color of ink. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so that's my new Toy Story pin. <laughs> that's awesome. I can't wait to use it to write down people's information or quotes or whatever. Um, so that's the swag I got last night and it was so worth it. Just loved it. But I can't wait to use my new pen and my new pad. And I already did. I took some notes. So let's discuss that now. All right. Isn't that cool? It's so awesome. Okay, so first we're going to talk about, they talked about all the four parks, um, mostly in the intel that the um, Green Army men were bringing. So first one was Animal Kingdom. You know, this year is Animal Kingdom's 20th anniversary, and so April 22nd is when all those events start. Um, and you know they're changing the Flights of Wonder show into an Up Bird show that features Doug and Russell from Up and then all the birds that were in the original Flights of Wonder show. Um, but something I did not know about this is that it's going to be Fast Pass eligible. Now, Flights of Wonder never had Fast Pass ability um, or eligibility, but this does. So just so you know, as I'm booking Fast Passes for you, this will be an option um, starting April 22nd, the new Up Bird show at Animal Kingdom will have a Fast Pass uh, option. So I thought that was interesting and did not know that before yesterday. Um, now, there's also a Donald Duck, well, he's the host, of a dance party in Animal Kingdom for the 20th anniversary and this summer. And he's not alone. It's going to be Donald Duck, Daisy Duck, Scrooge McDuck, Launchpad McQuack, but they're also joined by a couple of dogs, Pluto and Goofy. <laughs> so it's the duck and the dog show. And they're going to have a dance party when it turns dark. But they're also going to have a meet and greet at the Route 66 gas station in Dino Land. This is all happening in Dino Land at Animal Kingdom. So Donald will meet at the Route 66 gas station. And Daisy is going to be on the Crustaceous Trail meet and greet. So you can meet the ducks during the day before it gets dark and then have the dance party with all the characters when it gets dark. And this is all in Dino Land for Animal Kingdom's 20th. So I thought that was cool. Um, next, they talked about Magic Kingdom. So Magic Kingdom's Incredible Summer is going to have the Incredibles at a dance party on the Tomorrowland stage in Tomorrowland. So that is how they're doing their Pixar Incredible Summer at Magic Kingdom. At Epcot, they're going to have Star-Lord and Gamora and an alien band, live alien band, um, on the American Gardens Theater stage um, in the um, America Pavilion at Epcot in the World Showcase. That is going to be a dance party as well, and that's how Epcot's doing that, since Guardians of the Galaxy is going to have a ride in Epcot. Um, Disney Springs is also having some things this summer. Um, they talked about the stuff that we've talked about multiple times and that I will do on a review on for you because I ate there at our trip last week. But they talked about the Edison Complex, so the new Edison restaurant, Maria and Enzo's, Pizza Ponte, which is how they pronounced it, so I guess that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and then um, the Enzo's Hideaway. So all of those they talked about. Then they talked about Wine Bar George is going to be opening up soon. They're still working on that. So is Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill that they're working on. Of course, they talked about the Void virtual reality Star Wars experience um, in Disney Springs. Let's see. Oh, but the thing they talked about that I had never heard about is that a new store, they said at the end, sort of, a new store may be coming to the west side this summer. I have no clue what store it is, what kind of store, whatever. They just randomly said that at the end of their presentation on Disney Springs. So 
that's something new that I had not heard before. Um, then they talked about the water parks. And again, they did that random throwaway thing after they showed a video of the water parks. She said, there may be news of something coming this summer at one of the water parks. Last year, Typhoon Lagoon got a new ride, the Misadventure Falls, so maybe this one's at Blizzard Beach. I have no idea. All she said is, there may be news of something new at one of the water parks coming this summer. So we'll just have to tune and see. Um, of course, we talked about Hollywood Studios for the incredible summer. And Hollywood Studios is getting, um, obviously, Toy Story Land starting on June 30th. Um, but they gave us some more information about Toy Story Land. And of course, I put a lot of this on the, the photo album I put up. But it's in this little factoids. Um, one of the things they talked about was in Toy Story Land, there will be 400 toy blocks. So if you feel like counting, there's 400. Um, Woody, Buzz, Jesse, and more will be in Toy Story Land. Um, the lamp posts are going to be made of Tinker Toys <laughs> in Toy Story Land. Uh, Woody's Lunchbox is the quick service restaurant there, and it is all outdoor seating. There's no indoors of Woody's Lunchbox. We've talked about this before, but just wanted to make you aware. Um, it will serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I did not know that. So it will serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Some examples of foods that they gave that they'll have there is grilled cheese, um, soda floats, soda drinks, banana splits, yogurt parfaits, um, milkshakes. So that sounds really, really good. Um, and the, the concept art shows that it's like a lunchbox that's been tipped over and that's the counter window that you order from. Um, the toy store, there's a picture of this also in that photo album. The toy store, because of course you can't be in Toy Story Land and not have a toy store, right? <laughs> so the toy store is going to have, they use the 3D files that they use to make the huge pieces that you see in the land. They made the toys in that store exact replicas using the same 3D files on a smaller scale. So I thought that was really cool too. So who knows, you know, which, I guess all of the um, attractions are going to have a toy in this toy store. But... They also are going to have a light up tumbler featuring the green army men that you can get um, there. They also are going to have collectible pins. And of course, they tacked on to the end of this thing that Toy Story 4, the movie, opens this next summer. So summer 2019. Um, now let's talk about the rides in Toy Story Land. Um, and again, I, I believe I've discussed some of this stuff before, but let's go over it again. There are three rides one of which you've probably already ridden before if you've been to Hollywood Studios, and that is Toy Story Midway Mania. Um, that one will be the new entrance to Toy Story Land. And right now they're rerouting all that stuff. That's why there's so much construction, and that's why you won't be able to get a Toy Story uh, Mania Fast Pass from April 7th through May 9th. Um, but the new entrance, which again is in that photo album, looks like a carnival game box. So that picture, and I, I wrote underneath it, that looks like a carnival um, game box is the actual entrance. You can see the people getting onto Toy Story Midway Mania through the box opening. And so they go through it and then you can see the entrance to the land is right next to it. So that's gonna be interesting. I mean, it's really cute. Um, so of course, Toy Story is already there and already has Fast Pass. So they said that all three rides in Toy Story Land will be Fast Pass eligible. I kind of wondered if they wouldn't do a fast pass for the alien saucer spin ride um and they would just do it for the slinky dog dash coaster and toy story mania but no they said all three so all three rides in toy story land will be fast pass eligible um the alien saucer spin height requirement is 32 inches the slinky dog dash height requirement which is a as billed as a family coaster is 38 inches so the same as seven dwarfs mine train in the magic kingdom so hopefully it's a little bit thrilling family coaster, kind of like that one is. Um, but it's long. If you if you look at the concept art, that thing goes almost through the whole land. <laughs> so it is a really long coaster track. Um, but they, they showed us Slinky Dog in motion. They showed us a video of it. So it's so cute. I mean, the cutest thing I've ever seen. So um, that's it. That's what they told us. That's the new stuff that I didn't know. Um, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing all my swag and enjoyed hearing about what's coming um, to Toy Story Land and to Pixar Fest out on the West Coast. 
and I have nothing else to say. So unless anybody else has any questions, we are good for today. And I'll talk to you again next week, which is my birthday. <laughs> next Friday is my birthday. You'll have to wish me a happy birthday. <laughs> All right. Talk to you again later. Bye.